as a musician, what do you get from being able to perform with someone like Alicia? And what do you hope to bring to someone like her, you know, a little bit of the older guard, younger guard? You know, to, to me, it's, it's all about just complimenting. I learned a lot from Bill Graham. He was my main teacher, him and, uh, you know, a lot of Miles Davis. But I learned a lot from, uh, from Clyde, Clyde Davis and Bill Graham about complimenting. So when I play with Alicia Keys, I just basically want to touch that point of excellence. You know, uh, both, we, both of, we both of us want the same thing, which is to give you chills, make, make every hair in your body stand up and, and touch you in a place maybe that you haven't been touched before. Now, I mean, you have obviously been to Clive's party before. What is yeah. it that makes Clive's party special? And you just said you guys have a relationship, obviously. It's his passion for excellence, you know. This is where you find Mr. Quincy Jones, Mr. Uh, Stevie Wonder, you know. So just to be in this room, it's, to me this is more important than the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I mean, just put, I'll just put it out really straight up. You know, this, this, is, this is the real deal for me because you're surrounded with, with people who are really, really into uh, the passion for excellence. What's your favorite love song? Favorite love song? Nat King Cole. Uh, Mona Lisa. Yeah, I think Nat, Nat King Cole is first, middle, and last. He's, he's, he's the god of gods. If, god, if Rich Charles was here alive, he would tell you. Nat King Cole is the man. Cool. Now, what are you up to the rest of the year? What's up, what's up next with you? Uh, we're going to tour a lot this year. We're going to complete our, our new album, uh, or CD. Uh, and uh, just uh, last year I didn't travel so much. So this year we look forward to uh, going around the world and touching people's hearts again.